how to create a dependent drop-down list in Excel. So here in the type, for example, I can select either income or expense. So I'm going to select here expense, for example. And as you guys can see here in the category, I have a list that is relying upon the expenses value. So I can choose here pet, for example. But if I change here expenses to income, I'm going to have another type of list. And this time, this list right here, salary, investment, side hustle, and so on and so on, are all the options that are rely upon the income primary list. And of course, you can create as many lists as you need to. You can create here a hundred different lists to use. You just need to follow this step by step. So let's go. And I really hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions and suggestions, let me know. Comment down below and let's go to the video. I'm going to start here creating a new sheet because that way, let's just click here in this plus sign. That way you can create as many as lists as you need to. Let me right click in this sheet and then rename. Uh, here I'm going to give it a name, let's say lists and list options, for example, enter. And here, let's say in the column B, B2, I'm going to create my first list that is going to be income, for example. And in the column D, I'm going to create the second list that is going to be expenses. Of course, you can create as many lists as you need. And uh, here, I think it's important to separate, to split these lists by a blank column because we're going to transform when the list is, is done. We're going to take a list and convert it into a table in Excel. And that way we need to use here this blank column space to separate the first column to the first list to the second one, for example. So income, as income, I have uh, salary and orders. OK. And here as expenses, I'm going to have rent and orders. OK, so. I'm done here with these two lists. Of course, you can create another type of lists. And uh, the thing that I'm going to do here is select the column B, and then I'm going to press and hold the Control key, select the column D, click here in between one column and another, click, hold, and drag to the right. That way we can increase the column size, like this, for example. And this first list right here, I'm going to select everyone, and I'm going to click Insert, and I'm going to transform it into a table itself. The important question here is, my table has headers. Yes, of course, because income is a header here in my table. So we're going to click, I'm going to select here this box and then click OK. I'm going to do the same thing here for the expenses. Select everyone, then I make up my expenses list and then insert table. My table has headers. OK. I can also change here the design, the layout of this first table, for example. So I just can click here. And then I go to table design and here to the right, I can select another type of color. Uh, here, maybe I'm going to choose this green one because usually we use green for income. And for expenses, I'm going to try to use a red or an orange one, like this one, for example. OK, if both list is done, uh, I can come back here to the first spreadsheet. And here we're going to create the first list here in the type and uh, in the second column here, the category we're going to use the secondary lists or the lists that are going to rely upon this first list that we're going to have here. As this type, I can have, let's say, income and also expensive. But uh, instead of manually typing these two values that I'm going to have, I can select everyone and I can create a list for these two here. So income and expense. Let me click here in the data. Here to the right, I can click in data tools, data validation. And instead of allow any value, I can change and uh, allow list, for example. As source, I can use expenses, or I can also start with income, comma, expenses, for example. And then I can press enter. And as you guys can see, our list is already done. So I have now income, expenses, expenses, income. I can just click in the cell, click in this, in this square right here, and select an option in the list. And uh, dependent on the, the option that I just selected, here my list is going to be automatically changed for me. So it can be the first list, income, or the second list that is going to be expenses. But you do the secondary list that is going to rely, that is going to depend it upon the first one, we're going to need to use a function that is called indirect. And to use this function, let's see here with this practical example. So in this blank cell right here, I'm going to type it in equal sign and then indirect this function right here. Double click it, one, two. And the first criteria that uh, this function indirect is asking me is the half text. As this first criteria, I'm going to type it in the name of uh, any list that I have here. So it can be income, 
or it can also be expense. Let's type it in here, income, or maybe let's do something better here. In this cell right here above, I'm going to type it in income, or I can also type it in here, expenses, okay? But uh, let's say, now in this cell below here, equal sign, let's make it dynamic. So whenever I change here the name, my indirecting function is going to automatically update for me. Equal sign, indirecting, double click here. My reference text now is going to be this cell right here, where I have the income word, close parentheses, and then press enter. I got here an arrow. Of course, I just type it in here the income that corresponds to the first table, but we, we know it, but Excel doesn't because we need to tell Excel my first list is going to be called it income and the second one is going to be called it expense. I need to tell this to Excel. Let's so select the first list right here and then click in table design. I'm going to need to rename this table. And here, where I have table one as the table name, I'm going to select delete and type it in income, for example, enter, or just click out. Now the second list here, I'm going to do the same thing. Table design, select everyone, table design, and then as table name, I'm going to type it in expense. Okay, just click out and we're done. I will have here this arrow as result, but uh, if I just double click in this function, one, two, and then press enter again, as you guys can see now, my list is already working. And uh, now we can create the data validation using the indirect function. If I change here the income to expensive, for example, enter, as you guys can see, it's uh, automatically working and uh, it's automatically updated for us. One interesting fact that is good to tell is if you want to add a new item or if you want to delete something or update something, everything that you did, you're going to do here in this list is going to be automatically changed for you. So let's say I'm going to use here income. Okay. I have four different types of incomes. But I'm going to add another one, let's say ABC123. And uh, you're always going to do the same step. You're going to go to the, the last row that you have, the last blank row, the first blank row, and then you're going to type it in what you need, and then you're going to press Enter. As you guys can see the table, now I'll add update for me. And here to the right, as you guys can see, the function automatically update and input, insert, append this new item to the list. And uh, to delete, you just can click here in the list, in the, the option, in the, in the item that you want to delete, right click, delete, and then delete rows. And of course, the function is automatically updated for you. Now let's just double click here in the function again. I'm going to cope everything here within the cell, Control C to cope, or right click, cope. And then I can delete this entire column G. Now I can come back here where I'm going to use the lists. And of course, now I can create the data validation. I can select everyone here, all the cells that make up my category cells, or all the cells here that is going to rely upon this first group here. I select everyone, and then I can go to data. Here to the right, I can select data tools. I can select data validation. And uh, instead of using allow any value, I'm going to allow list, for example. And a uh, source, I'm going to control V. I'm going to paste the indirect function, but here I need to make some changes. Instead of using cell G2 as the reference, I need to change this reference to using this first cell right here. Or let's check here, cell C3, column C, row number 3, 30 row, okay, C3. So we're going to change here, instead of using G2, I'm going to use C3. And then I'm going to press enter, and uh, it's already working. Let me delete here everything, and as you guys can see in the secondary list right here, if I click in this square, nothing happens, but if I change here the type or income, for example, as you guys can see in the category now, I have the lists that uh, rely upon the income, the income value. So salary, investment, side hustle, and orders, for example. And if I change here the income to expense, for example, as you guys can see, the list now is, is using the another list. So I have hand, pet, health, insurance, and so on and so on. So we're basically done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And this is how we can do a dependent list upon another one. And of course, you can create as many as lists as you want. You can create a large list, or you can create three, four, ten, a hundred different lists here in Excel. You just need to follow this step by step. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, Comment down below, let me know, and I see you tomorrow. As everybody has a new video, I see you there.